Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Walkthrough. I am your host, Dio Gen Z, and right now we are going to take on Koga. Ha ha ha! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fwa ha ha ha! Pokemon are, are not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Koga. Love that intro, guys. Okay, so if you guys have played. Oh, oh look at him. All his ninja styles. So if you have played any of the past games, you will know that Koga used to be a gym leader in, I believe, Fuchsia City? Yeah, Fuchsia City. But now he's been elevated to the Elite Four, so that's pretty cool to see a character evolution. Especially when the Pokemon RPG series really doesn't have many. Oh, Gigadrain! Okay, so right now I am leading with my Nido King because, as you have just seen there, he has Earthquake, and Poison types are weak, weak to Ground type moves. Now, I guess bug types are not because he's, you know, again, dual type Pokemon there. But I just finished him off with a flamethrower. Uh, I'm not going to switch out. See, that's what I really like about having Nido King on my team. And I think this goes with Tyranitar, too. I'm pretty sure he can learn Flamethrower. And I know Tyran Tyranitar can definitely learn Earthquake. Is the fact that, you know, you have Fire Power, you have Earth Power. It's, it's great. Now, something to keep in mind is pay close attention to how much damage your attacks do. Because if your attacks leaves your opponent with half of its HP, but, you know, maybe a little bit less, now that's the one problem, is Nidoking is a poison type, so psychic types will be super effective. Ah, uh, come on, come on, flamethrower, flamethrower, yes! Okay, um, yeah, but where was it going with that? You see, that I knew that Flamethrower would take it out in two hits. If it whittled it down to just like a few HP, like 3 HP or 2 or something like that, I'm going to switch so I don't have to deal with confusion because Fortress is a Steel type as well. Um, then be, be careful on what moves you use because you could end up just baiting your opponent to use Full Restore. And that just makes things so much more annoying. Okay, so Flamethrower this bad boy. Love the super effective moves. So good. That's Ponage right there. Oh, critical hit. Now what? Man, we're gonna defeat Koga in no time. Okay, Muck is probably his worst Pokemon. And by worst, I mean hardest to beat. I guess in his opinion, it's his best Pokemon, but in mine, I hate it. It's the equivalence of Whitney's Miltank. Let's just put it that way. Earthquake power. You want to take this muck out really, really fast, okay? Because what this thing will do is minimize the crap out of itself. Watch, it's going to do it. There it is. Okay, minimize. Now, usually minimize is kind of a underused move in the game. I have a feeling he's going to use full restore. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you whittle it down to the red they will use a full restore, so try and keep your opponent in orange. Because what happens um, with Muck and Minimize is, yeah, Muck is a slow Pokemon, but Minimize raises its evasiveness really high, and it just keeps using it. And it ends up being that you can never hit the damn thing. And once you can't hit the Pokemon, obviously you can't defeat it. Luckily, since it used its move to use a full restore, it didn't Minimize again, so Earthquake got it. But if it kept doing that, and it did this to me the first time in the Japanese version, and I actually lost against Koga, you know, then you definitely want to take that thing out fast so it doesn't minimize the crap out of you, and you can actually hit it. Because that's like the worst feeling. It's like, crap, you know, I could take it out with this one move if I could actually hit the damn thing. One Pokemon left. Ha ha ha! I've been counting on this from the very beginning. Yep, so Crobat is 
his number one Pokemon, I guess, in his opinion. But in my opinion, it's just another token to get through. Boom. Super duper effective. Come on, die, die. Yes! Critical hit. And there we go. Well, that just about wraps up Koga. Elite Four Koga. Ah, you've proven your worth. Damn right I've proven my worth. Always proving to people, you know? Uh, I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Okay, guys, so we have just defeated the poison-type trainer Koga of the Elite Four. And next, we will be moving on. But that will be left for the next episode. Okay, so next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Walkthrough, we will be facing Bruce Lee. Nah, kidding. It's Bruno. Okay, see you then, guys.